Hey, what's up, travelers? So in this video, we're in Bangkok, Thailand, and we're heading over to uh, Victory Monument, and then we're gonna go get the King's Curry, Masam and Curry. So stick around. here in order to get to where we're headed. Standing probably behind me is the Victory Monument. It is there to keep the memory of the victory of the Franco Thai War, which, from my understanding, Thailand has never actually been taken over in its entire existence uh, that it's been here. And it's been, it's been Siam, it's been Iowatha, uh, and it's been Thailand. But they have all basically been pretty much the same country uh, along the way. Uh, they just kind of, over time, they've just kind of changed hands of, of government and everything like that. But the French colonizers came and tried to colonize Thailand, and the Thai people were like, yeah, no, that ain't going to be a thing. <laughs> so this is a monument to that. To that victory, and uh, yeah, it's something that the Thai people are very proud of.
we are now at the place where we're going to get the King's Curry. Uh, this is a place called Northeastern Thai. It's over in the Victory Monument area. That's why we ended up going there. And I'm pretty sure that we're going to get demonetized from this music, but I don't care. We will figure it out. <laughs> uh, yeah, so it kind of sucks that the music's so loud here, but it is what it is. I just ordered uh, Masaman curry with chicken and rice, and then that's a hundred baht. And then we got this big ass bottle of Coke for 50 baht. So, yeah, it comes in a nice glass bottle. And you know what? Thai Coke tastes better. I can tell you that for sure. <laughs> So from my research, uh, this place has the best Masaman curry here in Bangkok. Uh, let me know if, if my research is wrong in the comments. I would love to find other places to go eat and find better food. And it's a pretty good possibility that in the near future, I will be spending a lot more time here in Thailand. So. Uh, that is quite a possibility. But anyway, Masaman curry, we'll get into the history of it a little bit. So, uh, it came about in the 1700s. Apparently, the Princess Siam really, really enjoyed Persian food. And... He, he was he was out on a, on a trip over into the Persian area of the world, and he really really fell in love with Persian food. And then he came back to Siam, and uh, he just started trying to make his own thing. And it, ha it was inspired by Persian food and Malaysian uh, food from the area, and he ended up making masaman curry. It is a play on the word Muslim, so it goes back to Muslim food, so that he, he ended up going and perfecting this dish, and then he went on to become the second king of Thailand. <laughs> king Rama II is the one who invented Masaman curry, which is why it is known as the king's curry. So... Just a little bit of history on the dish. Hey, would you look at that amazing looking bowl of soup? I mean, that just looks just absolutely fantastic. It's got chicken and potatoes and carrots and peanuts and onions. And, and who all knows what all else is in there. There's obviously some, some uh, coconut milk and just, yeah, absolute amazingness. So... Of course, first things first, got to go right in for a taster of that broth. Oh. I'm going to enjoy eating this so much. Oh, man. So, I got a peanut with that broth there, and it just, yeah, unbelievable. The things that the Thais do with peanuts, it's unmatched by anybody else here in the world. Alright, so let's go ahead and try one of these potatoes and see how that's going. Okay, so the potato, it's, it's cooked to a point where it's still firm, but easy to chew. It's a, it's a very, very, very nice texture. All right, now let's, let's get some of that chicken. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, that is absolutely amazing. I think 
I prefer this more than I, I like the cow soy that I had the other day. Um, I would say this is definitely up there in quality of meals that I've had in Asia. Which is saying a lot because I've had some fantastic meals here in Southeast Asia. Um, wow. The heat to it, it's a, it's a constant heat. It's not overly spicy. It's just a, a kind of a warming feeling in your mouth. And I can see where this would be the perfect food for if you have a cold and you need to just like break your sinuses open and uh, get past it because it's got just that right amount of power just to get through everything. Mm. Wow. That was so good. Um, I understand why the king liked it so much. Mm. It's, it's the peanuts that take it to that next level of becoming gourmet food. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and put all of this rice right in here kind of soak that broth up and uh, see if that changes anything here and now we got the rice in here and uh, let's test that out oh man I truly wish you can be tasting this right now. This is just unbelievable. I, <laughs> I, I know I keep saying unbelievable, but it's truly, truly unbelievable how good this is. Mm. So, so amazing. Has definitely cleared out my sinuses, though. That's one hundred percent factual. <laughs> Yeah, so this is about a five-minute walk away from the Victory Monument. We're coming to check out. I will definitely leave a link in the description. Next time you're in Bangkok, come seek this place out. It's called Northeastern Thai, and it is unbelievably amazing. And it's only a hundred baht for this bowl of soup with the rice, and then. Yeah, I got that one liter of uh, Coke for 50 baht. So basically, I paid like five bucks for this meal, and it is one of the best meals I've ever had in my life. It, that's unbelievable. It, you, how do you do that? It's just unbelievable. I love Southeast Asia for that fact. Come check this place out. Mm. This is going to rock your world. I guarantee it. Well, if you've enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell, and as always, eat great food.